Peace. Good afternoon. Uh, guidance and guiding people. This is a very important topic. Now, in the reading or in the Quran, proof 2856, God is talking directly to the Prophet Muhammad. He said, Inneka. Uh, so that cast singular meaning only to the Prophet Muhammad. Right? So God says, You can't guide whoever you love, but rather God guides whoever it wants and it knows concerning the guided ones. Now this pertains to everybody. Anyone can get guidance from this. Even though this is directly speaking to the Prophet Muhammad. <clears throat> um, um, for example, in my family, um, my kids is a different um, ideology. You know, I have one one of my childs into. Uh, the astronomy stuff, uh, you know, zodiac signs, and you know, the witchcraft and stuff. Uh, another one of my child, you know, well, well, two of them is into like the, the um, into the homosexuality, um, but for the most part, uh, you know, my wife, she's. Uh, pretty much on the lines of of like Unitarian Christianity. Um, because I know a lot of Muslims believe that when law says uh, don't marry the Pletheus and, it, and a, 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 a slave trust a trustee who uh, a slave who trusts is better than a Pletheus or whatever. That is talking about a specific situation who was forbidden to be married is those categories of incest that is in is in, in uh, proof um in ayat for you know in the uh, uh in in um uh, Anisa, Anisa that's what they call it. But um you can marry whoever because this tells you you can guide whoever you love. All you can do is advise them in the guidance, and if they take it, they take it, they don't, that between them and God. Each of us is our own individual, and each of us is going to stand before God individually for our life. So... Um... Noah... He preached to his people, what was it, like 900 years or 950 years or something like that, and only had a few followers. I'm not going to not keep advising my family of, of adhering to the reading for guidance or for salvation. But, you know what I mean, I have to accept that. Um, they're gonna do what they do and accept what they accept to be the truth, you know. Um, you know, but um, a lot of people probably going through that. They wanna, you gotta like try to, f you you get mad if your child ain't following uh, the theology that you're on or whatever. But you can't get mad because. Uh, this is that's their right and it's between them and God you know um, we all hope and pray that you know what I mean all of us and our loved ones will be joined in the garden in the next life you know what I'm saying um, and not be punished but that's also between God and that person and that's one of the best advice my teacher, Rasul So Akbar Muhammad, told me. 
I asked him about, you know, now traditional Muslim. He was teaching me uh, the Maliki fig and stuff. And um, I asked him about, what about like a family members who, who I love, who are Christians or whatever. And, this, and he goes, that is God's business. That is between God and that individual person. Death and, ju and judgment, this is God's business. It's nothing to do with you. So, I end with that. You cannot guide whoever you love. Guidance is only on God. So, your child, your parents, your spouse, your, your siblings, your nephews, your nieces, your cousins, each individual is going to accept what they want to accept as the truth. But, you got to do your own research, and if you feel as in the reading is the truth, then you must hold on to that truth. Because to me, I did research, there's only pretty much three theology you can accept. You can accept atheism, you can accept uh, polytheism, or you can accept monotheism. But you got if you do research for me, it's not logical to be atheist. It just I mean it's just not logical. Polytheism also is not logical to believe in more than one God. So you got atheism who don't accept God. Polytheism who accept God but with more than one God alongside that God. And then there is monotheism, which is one God that regulates and dominates the affairs of its invention. Now, amongst the different groups of monotheism, logically, the, the reading it, it it makes more sense. It's more. It's a more coherent. Uh, it's a more coherent ideology. You know, I'm not talking about Muslim religion or anything like that. I'm just talking about as a guide. This book to read the Quran. This book compared to the Bible because. The old, the Bible has monotheism in it, in its essence, right? But then later on, they turn the monotheism into polytheism when it comes to Christ, the messenger of God. Now, if you look at the Old Testament, it's pretty much, uh, it's pretty much the genealogy and history of uh, the Hebrews or the Jewish people and then in the New Testament which Jesus was of those people they became he became a God alongside with God and also his, his mother and whatnot you know um, there is some truth in that but if you want the overall truth you will see that it is in the reading because the reading confirmed what came before it and it's an explanation of all things that deals with salvation. Um, but yeah, I'm still, I'm still, you know, little jabs of advice, guidance here and there to my kids or whatever, to my wife. You know, they take it, they take it, they don't, they don't. Between them and God, that's like my viewpoints between me and God. Because of this Quranic. Oh, not Quran. There's people who follow the Quran alone, and uh, some of them have some, to me, some weird viewpoints. Um, I agree with, 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 with like a lot of the stuff, like with Sam Garens, Brother Yusuf at um, Chronic Centric, Maverick X, uh, some things with um, 
that was the Quran versus Hadith. Uh, some th uh, things with um, what's his name? Uh, Abdul. Uh, is it Abdul Malik? The Abdul Malik. You know, cause in my early days of coming to the Quran alone, Sam Garens and uh, Abdul Malik. Is it Abdul Malik? What's his brother's name? Oh, Hamza Abdul Malik. Yes, brother Hamza Abdul Malik. Uh, they was like very um, instrumental in my understanding the Quranic perspective when it comes to the Quran, uh, the reading itself. But I don't mean I agree with everything they, you know what I mean? I have my own viewpoint because my teacher, Rasul so Akbar Muhammad, taught me to think. So with that, yeah, I mean, there's things in the Quran that people would say and it's it just makes sense. I mean, you, you can't refute it. But the other things some people say, you know, like, I don't know about that. You know what I mean? Even this website, Marvelous Quran, they Sunnis. But they realize you can only interpret the Quran with the Quran and the other stuff. But some of their viewpoints and stuff is like, yeah, you, you know what I mean? It's like, there's got to be a, it's, it's clear cut. And there's got to be a middle road within the um, mind frame when you come into uh, understanding the proofs, the ayats, you know what I mean? Like um, chronic centric, it's not into the flat earth, but there's a lot of evidences that he don't use to me in the videos um, and just that I think is very important. For example, Allah says, we put anchors in the earth or else it will shift, move with you. This tells us that the earth is stationary. I mean, it's just obvious. What are anchors? Anchors are starting to hold something down. Period. Um, Sam Garens, for example, when he said that the gems of the elite, I don't agree with that. Because Allah says that Lucifer, him and his people see you for where you cannot see them. So these people, the elite, we can see them. We can see the people who are elite on TV. You know what I mean? So I just don't agree with You know what I mean? It's something I just don't agree with. Everyone is between them and God and everyone. Listen, as long as you're trying to, to me, follow the Quran alone, the best of your ability, these are your viewpoints you come to. Hey, that's between you and God. You know what I mean? But um, I suggest everyone do their own research. I mean, you could take from people. Because sometimes what they say is correct. You know? But, um... And that's that, you know? We can't guide whoever we love. All you can do is advise them. Peace.